class. This is Mom Tess signing on. This fifth lecture will talk about Object Oriented Software Development or OOSD in Java. Let's begin. What is Object Oriented Software Development or OOSD? It is a practice of computer programming that has an end result in mind. It is the idea that objects which contain data in the form of structured fields are structured in procedural code, also known as methods. Object-oriented software has the key feature of objects being able to be modified or edited by the program within the attributes in which it is found making it easier to uh, chase the relationship with other functions found in the programming. What languages use object-oriented software? There are several object-oriented languages that are widely used within software development. These include Java, C++, Ruby, Perl, and PHP. Many of these programs, such as Python and Java, are multi-paradigm programming, meaning they support object-oriented coding within each language while combining it with procedural programming to build web applications and security systems. All of these programs are integral parts of computer programming and much of software development relies on object-oriented software. There are many modeling methods used. Common are structured analysis, structured design or ASESD. One of first software as, you know, this is one of the first software analysis and design methodologies, also known as SASAD. It includes a variety of uh, techniques for specifying software, part of which is the entity relationship or also known as ER diagrams. ER diagrams highlights relationships between data stores with each ER data you know, the ER data element, which uh, corresponding to one data flow diagram or the so-called data flow diagram data store. This ER diagram uses symbols to uh, show the procedure to be executed. Another known method is the unified modeling language or so-called UML. UML satisfies the need to obtain a method more suited to object-oriented program. It defines a standard modeling language and a notation for the majority of modeling techniques. We implement use case diagram to determine the requirements of a system. So, this is what our discussion is all about. We discuss this in details with sample problem and, of course, the solution through UML on our next video lectures. And that ends our discussion. Hope this code inspires you as you develop your programming skills. And so that's it. Watch out for more video lectures. Stay safe and God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. This is Mom Says, signing off.